Welcome to the tutorial video on how to use global states. States are a way to change the visibility of a component or grouping of components to simulate more advanced functionality in your prototype. There are times when you may want to reference a single state from different areas of a prototype. In other words, you want a state to be visible across all designs or pages. This can be done with global states. A simple example of using global states would be to simulate a logged in versus logged out function of a website. If I have a retail site where a user can sign in on the home page or even on the shopping page, I want my site to reflect my logged in status regardless of what page I'm on. Let's build that example. On my home page, I'll create a logged in status. Now, because I want the status to appear on other pages in the site, I'll use global states. I'll create my state with three options, no, yes, and error for being logged in. My trigger will be the login link. I'll use a hyperlink component, and I only want this link to be visible when I'm not logged in. Now, I'll add an indicator of being logged in. I'll use a label and mark it Welcome Back Betty. I want to make this label only visible when I am logged in. Next, I'll convert the hyperlink and label components to a master to be used elsewhere in the site. I'll call it Header Sign In. Here, I have a shopping cart page already set up. However, I only want the cart to appear when I'm logged into the site. So now I'll add my sign-in master to the page and add another trigger. For this example, I'll add a hyperlink that reads something like, to view your cart, please sign in. Now, on click, I want this link to set the global state to yes. I also want its visibility set to no, so the link no longer appears when I'm signed in. Next, I need to set the visibility of my shopping cart, because it should only appear when I'm logged into my account. It should be visible only when, yes, I'm logged in. Finally, I need to set the on-click action directly to the sign-in master. I'll open the master and on-click, yes, I'm logged in. Let's test my handiwork in review. As you can see, when I log into the home page and navigate to the shopping cart, my cart is visible because the global state indicates that I'm logged in. I can reset my states and see that I'm no longer signed into my account and my shopping cart disappears. For additional help resources, please visit the support section of protoshare.com.